have some kind of separation between them and the road. You know they're going to wander out in that lane. That you need, so. Yeah. That was interesting that at that cap meeting I was at last Wednesday, there was three counties, Pope, Boone, and Dallas County, and ten towns or cities. It was a twelve and a half million dollar bike project, bike park. They had the money raised, except for the bridge. They were coming to the, to the cat board to see if they could get some help. Because they spent about $2 million retrofitting that concrete railroad yeah. bridge. Um, yeah, I like that. You're about on those, those bridges that go across the morning early. You know, like the one on 20? Oh, yeah. On 20. I mean, that's, yeah, about, that's how high. The the one great big one, uh, I mean that's that's way down behind that. Uh, over by uh, Boone, Steamboat Rock. Yeah. Uh, that railroad. I've been on that railroad bridge west of Boone. On, you're on a train, and you get on. You know, and the car I was sitting on was like a trolley car. You could, you could you're sitting, sitting like you know, like the, the car is running this way, but your seat you're sitting like this. Ooh. And once you get out over the trust, you can't even see. I mean, you can't see the track, the track or anything. It's the cars. So it's just like, you know, you're 250 feet up in the air and you're just looking out. And <laughs> you're scared of heights. And I went with a bunch of Girl Scouts and, and they were, I was just worried. Did they stuck me in? Yeah. Well, we had them in a. <laughs> it's quite a sensation not being able to see the bridge here. Yeah, that truck, that big track over, you know, by Grant Park. You know, walked across that. That's up in the air, quite a bit. but nothing like the Des Moines. I'm, I'm thinking of the one there that crosses by Steamboat Rock. It's over 300 feet down there. You mean Highway 20? Yeah. That's. <clears throat> you know, you go north, you know, the Des Moines River runs northwest, north by northwest. And you cross it here on 20 on that bridge, and the valley's rear, you know, it's significant. That's the Iowa River, isn't it? Is that yeah. yeah, that's the Iowa River. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, excuse me, yeah, the Iowa River. That goes under 20 there at Steam. And then you go north on Interstate 35 going to Minneapolis and the Iowa River. You cross the Iowa River at that point, and it's like crossing the Raccoon River out. <laughs> so somewhere between you know, that point, yeah. it must be like 20, you know, the, the glacier or something did change dramatically because it's a huge, huge valley. Oh, and up there, you'd be interested in that's not get on a kayak. And maybe that's what we should. I get my kayak. We can put it in there and check that out. We'll probably run on electric fences. And, and <laughs> they do a lot of it on the Iowa River. And all that. Yeah. Well, it'd be fun. Weren't you saying you and Shirley Phillips and Jack were at the, the groundbreaking for that bridge? Yes. Yeah. Did, did you tell me the, the governor was there? That, yeah. And some guy shot us. In yeah, some guy was shooting down somewhere. And the highway patrol went to check yeah, out. Yeah, off to the east somewhere. There, there was a heard that story. I wasn't there, but I heard yeah, they were, he was well, one of Well, one of the property owners, you know, protested and fought it legally for a long time to prevent it from happening. And I think that probably was... They had to push that out over the county build it, right? Yeah, the, you know... No, they, they didn't, there wasn't much of a uh, construction footprint on the valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. It, it is, is neat, the bridge is good. Yeah. Yeah. They let us walk out, but they, before they opened it, officially you could be out and walk, looking look over the edge. We've been on 20 with the planner and Bill Cullivator a couple of times the last week. At certain times during the day, it just seems like there's nothing but trucks running on 20. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them. You know, I, I, I don't know what the, the road count shows. But, but people that live in Sac City would 
here and notice it. I did just living there on Highway yeah. 28. Uh, Do you think it's picked up? Since 2001, I think there's still a lot more trucks on Highway 20. I think it was in 2001. I noticed more this summer. I don't know whether it's because the homers closed or what. Uh, I, I've noticed that the last, I, uh, there's there's been an increase the last five years. It's it's a lot more than, you know, than I, I think in on D15, there's a lot more. As a city of Lakeview, I was thinking about trucks. George Krause was at the Lakeview Council meeting a week ago last night, last yeah. week's council. And he's pointing out to the mayor and the council since the, the work on Vida how much he, George lives on the lake. On oh yeah, Lake. he picked up some trucks going around. And uh, he said a lot. And he he was telling the council that that uh, making them aware that trucks weren't following the huge and they're going to pound wreck the the lake road. And I just wondered. Do you have any contact in that regard? No, I saw one truck I bought for myself when I was down there. And I said, oh gosh, that guy knows that that's a residential area and he can't come up in there. Well, it was a garbage truck. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was up there to pick up garbage. So. And that's the only one I saw. And some of the trucks are going straight west instead of turning back north again and going over to Wall Lake and mm -hmm. coming up through Wall Lake. Sure. Yeah, they're, they're, they scatter all that. Most of them, I, if they're going on this way. They just go right over the wall. How do they, yeah. I haven't been up to the, the construction project. They take the, the concrete away, the road bed, and then mm -hmm. they just start hauling the dirt away with scrapers? Or? Actually down there they've been throwing it up on the top of the bridge and loading it with, I think, on the trucks and all. Uh. That's how they haul the road bed. And they don't have far to go with the dirt. And they want to take all the dirt across the bridge. Yeah, well, the bridge is still standing. Oh. See, because... Yeah, they don't have a railroad crossing. Now they don't have to hire the two railroad flagmen okay. while they're doing that. It's going to tear the bridge, this, and the bridge down that they got to have the railroad flagmen there. Really? So they'll take as much as they can over. Yeah, so from what I saw, it looked like they were moving dirt. Yeah. Which, which way are... Which way are they hauling the dirt? I mean, where's the dirt ending up? Which is right north, right northeast. Northeast? Yep. Northeast in that pasture. It used to be a low flat. Yeah. It all came from anyway. Okay. Uh, which is Daryl Freeze's pasture. Yeah. And Morass. Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you been over by Moreland and they started working on going underneath the railroad? No. And, and in fact, I <laughs> don't even know what they're going to do over there. Did the last time I knew they, they didn't know. Them. know. Are they going under the railroad or are they going to go under? I heard that. The last time I talked to anybody, they hadn't decided that. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I heard they were going under. Well, I think they're going to be. There's much train traffic on that railroad. I've been. There's more at night. More you think? Be more yeah. so, like all the biodiesel, they do that all at night. Okay. There's at least, I don't know, <coughs> 10 cars or 10 trains a day, maybe. Mm -hmm. Very and how, I mean, that'll go up dramatically when the, when the Arthur ethanol plant gets up and going. You, you heard when that's just to start, Jack? Oh, they're working on the railroad now. There's pictures and stuff. <coughs> See activity out there. Main railroad bed to go. I think they're shooting at Grand Corn in August. Are they? They're working on that by the west of Bowling Boat now. They can have it on there. They are? Yeah. I heard they were going to wait and take that over there in August. No, no, Maybe they can't hold it. They're working on it now. I got it all on the other tracks gone. Yeah. I think that's the only one they got left. Oh, really? At 36 stadiums. But Sacks all went to their feet. And that's empty. I mean, it's gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, it didn't leave. It didn't haul away. It just went right to the back. They were out of feet. <laughs> Look good. I'm probably going to load a train.